My mother said that I, uh, I drew a picture of a cat when I was 18 months old. Um, I never saw it. I drew it in my sister's book, and she didn't like it, so she erased it, so it doesn't exist anymore. So it's kind of like the erased de cocooning. It's kind of uh, it's gone to mythology. As an artist, as a profession, you you work regardless of if there's any work or not. You uh, you keep working without any hope of getting any kind of reward out of it. I don't think a, a dentist is going to go clean people's teeth just for fun, or an accountant's not going to go out and do people's books just because they like doing books so much. I think that's the difference in the creative professions like like art, like fine art, visual art more than probably a lot of things is because you do it regardless. Totally speculative, it's a speculative life. You're almost mandated to do this. I hate to use cheese ball words like destiny or whatever, but it's kind of like that, I guess. It's kind of like uh, you're, you're, you're ordained, almost like a priest would be or something. And I think the, the, the battle between being an artist, which I think is a little bit more freewheeling and a little bit more, is probably not the most responsible thing to be or do. I think it's always been an interesting, uh, an interesting battle about kind of doing, uh, doing what you should do, uh, a sense of providing, a sense of, uh, of doing the right thing and then then this idea of art which is probably not the right thing to do it's a it's a uh, it's a tough life not that it's hard I mean it's just uh, there are no patterns you can't follow it's not like being a brain surgeon that you can go follow a separate path and you become even though I know that's really difficult to do but it's not like there's a rule book on how you can get from here to there. Maybe if I'd worked harder, I'd have been, I would be way too rich right now and be lazy. That's one thing about staying kind of poor. It keeps you on your toes. I think rich people get real lazy. I'd have to do things that I probably don't care anything about doing. I'd have a Fancy car, I wouldn't want to go anywhere. Play golf. I wouldn't want to play golf. It's actually about bigger ideas. Uh, and nature is probably the, um, it's probably ultimately the metaphor. And, and it's all about relationships by doing a painting of a tree or something you you can explain something about what it's like to be human what it's like to get your lessons from something other than people
nature will win just because people aren't I think human beings as intelligent animals aren't taking responsibility for their effect on not even their effect I think they're not taking responsibility for cooperating with nature I think that we think that we're entitled to all this uh, largesse and it's uh, I think it'll eventually we'll 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 lose people will lose kind of hope I think uh, I think it'd be nice for the for the earth to have some other species that come come up for change some that were a little more responsible It's just like there's a natural order in the way these scales are laid out on the uh, snake skin. Uh, I think that if you if you studied that long enough and, and worked with that long enough, you'd have you would gain some insight into something that's beyond the snake skin. I'm not sure what it is, but I, I think it can be very interesting. <laughs>